Now, CPR is an emergency life-saving procedure performed when the heart stops beating. Now, performing CPR immediately can double or triple the chances of survival after a cardiac arrest. Now, many people have questions about whether only trained people can give CPR or not. Now, let us know from the expert who can give CPR and how basic CPR is given. Now, CPR basically is of two types. One is the basic life support CPR or you can just in general terms say the basic CPR or one is the advanced life support CPR or the advanced CPR. The basic CPR can be given by anyone. You don't have to have any qualifications like a doctor or a nurse or a paramedic to give a basic CPR. Anyone, even in the general population, can give the basic CPR. In fact, in many Western countries and European countries, general public are also trained about giving the basic CPR if the time arises. So that's about the answer that basic CPR should be given by anyone who is there in the nearest vicinity. See, firstly, it's a good idea that uh, most people take the training for the basic CPR. Most of the hospital, including ours, have this uh, free training sessions of CPR for general public. I would advise most people to take this because uh, that may be required anytime. Now, coming to your question, if a patient, if the person is not trained in giving a CPR, what is to be done? See, CPR is uh, basically cardiopulmonary resuscitation. See, if, uh, you may be in, out in the park, you may be in the home, you may be anywhere, you may be in the theater, you may be in the mall. Someone in your vicinity collapses and is non-responsive. Someone has fallen to ground and is not at all responding. So that is when you need to, to initiate the basic CPR. Whenever you see a person collapsing nearby, the first thing we should, you should uh, do is try to wake the person. Just shake him, shake him or her, call out his name if you know the name or else just shake him and say hello if there is any response. If there is no response, even after three, four times of calling, then you need to immediately initiate the CPR. The CPR basically is cardiopulmonary resuscitation, which complaint, uh, contains two components. First is the chest compressions. You must have seen in the TV and all. People I mean, just uh, keeping their fist closed and pressing the chest. First component is that. Second is rescue breaths. That is the mouth to mouth res uh, resuscitation wherein you give your own breath to the person who has collapsed so that uh, their breathing is maintained. This is what needs to be done. Few important tips about how you can give it. You need to press in the center of the chest, not on the left, right in the center in the upper part of the chest or the lower part. Okay, right in the chest uh, center and you need to hold your hands like this entangled and from this part you need to press the chest bone the center chest bone okay the sternal bone you need to press it in such a way that it at least goes two inches down or five centimeters down 2.5 inches or five centimeters keep pressing as fast as you could and you should be giving ample time for it to recoil you press it leave it fully so that the chest comes back and again press it you should be doing this chest compression for 30 cycles that is 30 times you push and after that, two rescue breaths are given. After pressing it for 30 times, just close the patient's nose, open the mouth and give mouth to mouth uh, breathing for two times. And after that, again, go back to chest compressions. Compressions 30, chest compressions 30 and two rescue breaths. You need to do this and inform anyone who is nearby you to, by you to call an ambulance immediately. So that till you are resuscitating the, um, the qualified personnel also arrive and they can take over from you. The second important point is most of the uh, malls or bigger apartments, they do have this defibrillator, the small machine, the shocking machine. Again, you must have watched in TV or new, uh, movies that they keep a pad and shock the per person when they collapse. This is called as automated defibrillator, AED, automated external defibrillator. Most of the bigger malls, even the bigger housing societies do have this. It is a norm. It's a protocol to, for the licensing before they open the mall or the housing societies, they should have taken this license and there will be automated implant external defibrillator. If it is not there in your housing society, talk to the union and get one. Okay. So as you are uh, proceeding with the CPR, you need to ask someone to get that machine. It is a very simple one. You open the machine, put the uh, push the button, two patches will be there. They would have mentioned where to put the patch. One will be like in the upper part of the chest, one will be on the left lower part of the chest. Put the patch and just press the machine. You don't have to do anything. The machine analyzes whether the person requires a shock. If it is required, it delivers the shock itself and saves life. So this is just about the basic uh, CPR, how it is to be done. Advanced CPR includes a lot of many other things like putting the 
ventilator putting uh, intubating the patient and all that's not required for the general public and it's not possible 